Morning all, favourite time of the week again. So we're, we're back here in Wild Boar Clough, going for our long run. I must admit it's a bit difficult to leave the uh, the car this morning. There's some snow on the ground, it's pretty chilly, but you know what they say, uh, be bold, start cold. So uh, hopefully it'll be a good run. Sun is hopefully about to come up. So uh, we'll see how we get on. Shotlin's low down, distant. Yeah, sun's starting to come up. For this run, I decided to use the VJ Extreme uh, trail shoes. I know very little about trail shoes, uh, having recently only started running um, and trail running. So I decided to try a few different pairs, put them into the rotation, so I can uh, decide what shoes suit me, what shoes suit what conditions and terrains so that when we come to do some events later in the year hopefully I'll have a better idea of what shoes to wear. So I thought I'd share some of my experience uh, that I've had with these shoes uh, to let you know what I think. Obviously this run you can tell was very very cold, it was very icy uh, and cold underfoot. The shoes, the marketing that they give is, is absolutely right. The amount of grip from these shoes was phenomenal. Uh, to be honest, I found myself being a little bit complacent running over slippery ground because the, the shoes just always seemed to grip. And even when we lost a little bit of grip, you know, regained that very, very quickly. So the, the amount of slipping you did was, was very low. On the downside, you know, you saw some of the trails coming up to the Cat and Fiddle were very rocky. Uh, there's not a lot of cushioning underneath this shoe, so you know a few times you found that the rocks were a little bit uncomfortable. So if I was doing a lot of running like that, I'd probably use a different pair of trainers. But on the, uh, the the moors section, on the grassier sections, they were absolutely excellent. In terms of fit, I, you know I, I had gone up half a size. When I tried these on, because I had been worn, they, uh, they are quite a, a narrow fit and I have pretty wide feet. But going up half a size, they felt good, they felt comfortable. No complaints with that. Excellent pair of shoes. And uh, I look forward to, to running in them again. Obviously, I do look at the routes that I do, so if they're more sort of softer trails or wet rocks and, and that type of environment, that's when I would pick these shoes over any others. If you have any questions that you think a newbie would be able to answer, you know, please feel free to put them in the comments below and I'll do my best to uh, give you my opinion on, on these shoes. As seems to be traditional at present with all YouTube channels, just to let you know that you know, nobody gave me these shoes. I paid for them with my own money and I just wanted uh, another pair of trail shoes to put in the rotation of which these definitely will be and the opinions expressed here are my own. I've put the route overview up in the top left hand corner so you can just see an overview of where we ran on this run. Okay so we've just got back to the car, another route done. Uh, so we're back to the car at Wild Ball Clough. I uh, cut the route a bit short today because it was very windy, cold, rainy, snowy and icy on the top so I uh, decided to, to drop down and, and uh, finish the run a little early but still 20k, nearly 900 metres of climbing I'll put the route on, on the commute account uh, I'll put the link below again to that I'll also, through the week, uh, add to this video some feedback on on the VJ extremes that we've been in today uh, to let you know how I got on.